of the Lord. Let us have a seat. You are welcome to the last day of our fasting. The Lord has been answering our prayer and is going to answer our prayer today in Jesus' name. Amen. The prayer before me says, <clears throat> Great job for the unemployed and the underemployed. Number one, I want all the youths to listen very well. Please listen very well. The church is made up of over 95% of youth. If you are under 50, you are still a youth. Praise the Lord. I, I am a youth. Praise the Lord. So please listen very well. Number one, have a positive mind. Don't say, uh, everybody, when kukunja de sile eleni, no job. Tell God, emio, marisha. And I'm not talking only of government job. Everyone, maybe you are a businessman, you are a businesswoman, you are in a one career or the other. Even those of us that are retired, we still want to get to higher level. Am I right? Yes, Praise the Lord. So please, don't limit yourself. The Lord will help us. Even at our own time, job, no, Oscars. But I remember in those days, during NYC, uh, the EFC, Christian Corpus Association, whenever we go for prayer, uh, what is your prayer, Sister Fumi Mani, I want to break poverty in my family. And God did it. So please, have positive hearts, mind, and attitude. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm not wasting your, your time, but it is very necessary. Yes, the issue of employment and underemployment is a global problem. If you go to U.S., you go to Canada, you go, there are some people that are jobless. Praise the Lord. So it is a global problem. But it is only relative in each country of the world. The prevailing situation of unemployment in Nigeria is very alarming. You see graduate, PhD holder, looking for a job. Am I right? Oh, what that die? Me gun in leg bay. So it's not something strange. Praise the Lord. And this alarming rate is, has made many of our youths, many youths, not in this church, to engage in social vices like Yahoo. It's very common around, around your houses and area. You see Yahoo boys. Ritual killing, we hear of uh, so many news, <clears throat> harm robberies, kidnapping, and the like. Because of this, we need to pray for our youth. We need to pray for every one of us. So hence, we need to pray to God to liberate our youth, including the retired and about to retire, from unemployment and underemployment. When you are a graduate and you are working under somebody paying you 15,000, 20,000, you are underemployed. If you are in a, any entrepreneurship and uh, it is only from the hand to the mouth, you are underemployed. Am I right? The Lord will help us. Praise the Lord. Today, the Lord will grant us grace to have great employment, great businesses, and career in Jesus' name. Yes, for the prayer point, we need to thank God. In whatever situation you are, am I a student? Am I in any little business? Or I am a career person? Or I am a professional in my career? We need to thank God. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 15 says, In everything, do what? Give thanks. Let us thank God. Please, if you can stand up, stand up and make sure you are praying. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. 
Pray for your family that God will grant unto them good employment in Jesus' name. Let us start to thank God for his mercies, for his grace over our lives. I want us to thank God. <coughs> you are alive. You are a student. You are underemployed. You are unemployed. You are alive. You are in one career or the other. You are in one business or the other. You are alive. Thank God for his mercies. Many that are better than you, better than me, they are no more. Is it because of your prayer? Is it because you know how to do it? But it's because of the mercy of God. So let us thank God. Let's appreciate the Lord God for being alive to praise him today. Let us give glory to God. Let us acknowledge God for his faithfulness. Many, they go for interview on the way they had accident and died. Is it because you know how to do it? So acknowledge God for your life, for, your, for his mercies, for his uh, faithfulness over you, over your life, over your properties, over your children. Let's give glory to the name of the Holy God. Our Lord, we worship you because you are there for us every time. We acknowledge your faithfulness and your livingness in our life. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It's a common verse. And many of us, we know it offhand. It says that God has plans for individuals. As a student, as a worker, as an entrepreneur, as any for God has his own plan for your life. So we want to pray that God will help us. Help our youth. Help all of us. Even if you are 70, let's pray that God should help us to discover your God-given potentials and gifts and to know how to use these potentials to enter into the blessing of God. I want us to pray. Let us pray to God. God has a plan for me, but I need to discover the plan of God. Youth, God has plans for you. Oh. Don't say negative things about yourself. Tell God to grant you to the grace to discover that God giving you potential over your life. Let us thank God and say, God, help me to discover your God giving potential in my life and your God giving gifts. Father, give me the grace to know how to use them to enter into the blessing of God for my life. Let us pray. Father, help me. Help all our youth in this church and in Christ Dominion team to discover, oh, they are God-given potentials and gifts and how to use them to enter into the blessing of God. Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your cousins that God will grant unto them the God-given potentials and gift of God to know how to use these gifts to enter into the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, the next prayer says, Father, connect our youth with open opportunities that will launch them into the realm of economic prosperity in Jesus' name. Father, let us turn in into prayer. Father, connect all our youth in this church and in Christ Dominion team in general. The Op with open opportunities that will launch them into the realm of economic prosperity in the name of Jesus. Father, connect all our youth with open opportunities to, that will launch them into the realm of economic prosperity in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. The grace to be open to great opportunities that will launch our youth into their economic uh, prosperity, grant unto them today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes, no one is an isolation. You can no walk in isolation and prosper. We need a pass of destiny. So the next prayer is on the board, on the uh, screen. First King chapter 1. Verses 
24 and 26. The Lord raised prophet Nathan, we all know the story, to pave way for King Solomon to get to the throne and enter into glory and prosperity. So we need a path of destiny. No matter what age you are, we need somebody that will recommend you. You need referral from people for your job, for anything you want to do. So let's, do the, let's pray the prayer and say, Father, raise destiny help us for all our use and remove them from the crowd and the concept of turn by turn. Grant unto them quantum leap and divine acceleration in their academies, in their career, in their businesses, in their profession. In Jesus' name. Father, raise destiny help us to all our use and remove them from the crowd and the concept of turn by turn and grant unto them one turn leap and divine acceleration in their academies, in their career, in their profession. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, collect all our use with great employment that we take them to their own throne of glory and prosperity in Jesus' name. Let us turn it into prayer. It's on the screen. Lord, connect all our youth with great employment that we take them to their own throne of glory and prosperity in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 19, verse 14. O oh Lord, grant unto all our youth supernatural speed in their journeys of life and satisfy them early. O oh Lord, grant unto all our youth supernatural speed in all their journeys of life and satisfy them in the early in their journey in the name of Jesus. Father, let your great hands catapult them to the top and push them by your mercy and grace into their lands that flows with milk and honey. In Jesus' name, let us turn into prayer. Father, let your great hand rest upon our youth, catapult them to the top and push them by your mercy and grace into their land that flows with milk and honey in the name of Jesus. Father, catapult our youth, O oh God, with your great hand, take them to the, to the top, push them by your mercy into their lands, O oh, that flows with milk and honey in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine. It's on the screen. Almighty God, let your spotlight rest upon all our unemployed and underemployed youth. Grant unto them feasibility and referral that we change their lives in any interview or discussion for elevation and promotion. Let favor speak for them in Jesus' name. Almighty God, let your spotlight rest on all our unemployed and underemployed youth. Grant unto them feasibility and referral that will change their lives in any interview or discussion for elevation and promotion. Let your favor speak for them. In the name of Jesus, let your favor speak for our youth in all their undertakings. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Proverbs chapter six, uh, chapter six, verses verse six and verse nine. You say, "Go to the ants. Our youth, they need to be hard working. They need to be diligent." Some of them, if I'm not mistaken, during our university days, in those days, 
At the lecture period, you may have some They will not go to lecture on time. They will not do the assignment on time. In those days, the lecturer would say, go out of my class. Are you not doing it now? Eh, ni je wo. Be diligent at your work. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, grant unto our youth the grace to be diligent and not working on everything they lay their hands upon. Give them divine wisdom to manage their time and resources for their economic freedom. In Jesus' name. Oh Lord, grant unto all our youth the grace to be diligent and not working in everything they lay their hands upon. Give them divine wisdom to manage their time and other resources for their economic freedom. In Jesus' name, I want us to turn into the, uh, pray for yourself. Wherever you have not been diligent, wherever you have been lazy, tell God, Father, help me to be diligent and be hardworking. Tell the Lord. The Bible says, as you say this in my ear, so it has happened to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 25. We are not unaware of the vices of the devil. Even after putting all effort by youth, there is aspect of demonic oppression, demonic influence over some lives. I want to tell you a short story. Praise the Lord. I don't think my time is up. It's up. Ah, you will grant me two minutes more. Praise the Lord. I, will want, I want to tell you a short story. This happens back 42 years ago. I have somebody, after finishing his higher education, and it was the day to go for NYC, and somebody just woke up and said, Lagbaja, O Mati, Jade Nani, O Fellow Massaf, Toro Koma Fi, a certificate, you see, 42 years ago, 1982. Brethren, till today, and in your fish share job. Only the John Jamie, or the fellow staff, so the coma fish share. Praise the Lord. That is why you need to pray and be prayerful and hold the hand of God. For all of us, in your cooking student in the Praise the Lord. Almighty God. Almighty God. Arise in your great power and break every yoke of ancestral causes near success syndrome over our youth and remove all embargoes and spurs and genes and limitations that might have affected them negatively. With the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Please let us pray this prayer. Almighty God, arise in your great power. Break every yoke of ancestral causes, near social syndrome, over our use. Remove them from all embargoes, spurs, genes, limitations that might have been affecting them negatively. With the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. My youth, pray this prayer. They are on the platform for yourself. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we thank you because you have had us. Thank you because you will grant unto us testimony, even with our youth concerning this prayer, Lord, today in Jesus' name. Lord, all of us together will receive testimony of great employment, and the connection to move to higher realm in our lives in Jesus' name. Let's say be your name, O God. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord.